get into my request call out room. Everybody should be able to, to hear me okay. I'll be loud. Um, I'm Josh Williams, PT uh, and the Clinic Director of Harborview Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. Uh, thanks for coming out. We've got uh, a good group here, a good mix of people from high school runners to coaches to physical therapists uh, to older, more established runners. Just say more established, not older. Um, so that's good. I, I kind of, this talk, um, I do different ways depending who the target audience is. Tonight it's sort of a mix of everything. So uh, I sort of got it all up here, but we'll, we'll zip through some things that maybe won't be as applicable so you can get to um, more time with the, the Sedgwick family who I think everyone wants to hear more than me tonight. So I'll do my piece and then get to that. Um, the reason I do uh, a lot of this, one, I, I'm a runner, and, uh, but I've had a few injuries myself in the past, so I sort of fell into it uh, that way. But as a therapist, it gets a little frustrating sometimes. I love treating runners, but you see some of the same injuries and mistakes over and over again, and you realize how much uh, people could enjoy their running a whole lot more if they were injury-free, if they learned um, a few of the things that are pretty basic that could help um, keep them injury-free and, and on the road running. Uh, so injury prevention has become a big focus of mine, um, both in treating runners and also treating baseball pitchers. It's the same kind of thing. Um, in runners, we're not talking about usually surgical kinds of injuries. These aren't uh, ACL tears or traumatic injuries. They're the little ones that oftentimes can be prevented if you know what to do. Uh, and that's what we'll focus on. Okay, so a couple of quotes here. Um, the thinking must be done first before training begins. I like that one. Um, hopefully anyone who goes into a, uh, an upcoming race, they have a training cycle for a new season or long-term goals for a year, a career, things uh, have to be kind of mapped out on how you get from point A to point Z along the way. And people that run into problems are the ones who just start out not much thinking about how the different pieces of the program tie together. They jump into everything real quick with some new program they just saw online and don't understand everything else that goes with it. Problems come about. So um, putting some thinking into it, uh, learning what the important pieces of training are, and having some guidance you know, from, from good people. That's what we want to give everyone tonight, and we'll get into that uh, a little later. All right, uh, if you look at studies, running inch line that more than 20 miles a week. Um, 34 to 65% of those runners will have some kind of injury that makes them adjust their training in any given year. So that could be anywhere from a little tendonitis where you take a day or two off uh, to a stress fracture and you're out for a long time. But the high end of that, 65%, that's a big number. Um, but I think running injuries in the medical community don't get as much attention as they should because they're not the big traumatic things that often lead to surgery. In the medical journals, that's what's focused on more often. Um, but the, the injuries and the prevalence of it is going to vary a lot based on the runner, the training, the environment. There are a lot of factors. 